Sarah tells me, how do you stop Copilot ignoring instructions? For example, I wanted to make an image using my exact company logo and it keeps changing the logo. How do I make it stop doing that? I find Copilot to be disobedient. So this is a complex topic, Sarah. So basically what you're experimenting right now is how AI is working. My first question for you will be, are you using Copilot Create? If not, use Copilot Create like I showed you and attach the company logo, right? Second, if uh, you are using the regular Copilot to create an image, what's going on is that for privacy and for you know legal purposes and all of that, and also how, co how AI works, it's that it's working on patterns, right? It's trying to forecast the next word or taking a context and forecast how it's going to create your image. So it's basing itself on many similar images that it will find uh, in its uh, database, on its LLM database. And uh, it's going to try to create a similar logo, right? So uh, with Copilot Create, you will fix this issue 100% by attaching the logo. And why right now AI is not, you know, like if you will say create a McDonald emblem, it's copywriting and all of that. So, and, and Copilot cannot really go on the internet and find your company logo and try to put it in an image. It's maybe going to try to do it. It's going to create a logo based on previous contexts, on previous uh, images that seem similar to what you described. And it's actually going to generate generative AI, an image based on the words that you are telling it to use. Let's go to Copilot, create an image of a restaurant that has a big yellow M as an emblem where we serve fast food, fries, and hamburgers. So we'll see what Copilot gives me. I'm expecting Copilot to say, we cannot create that because it's going to think it's McDonald's or it's going to do something that is really different from McDonald's, right? Um, and this is because of copyright. <laughs> I was expecting it to not actually want to do that because of copywriting and everything. Yeah. So basically guys, we're entering in an interesting era. I want you to be careful with that. Even myself, my business, I'm like, where is this going? Because lately there is a company that is called mid journey, which is an AI specified on making images and they're getting sued. They're getting sued by Disney. Uh, you see all of these images are made by AI. One thing I wanted to show you here. It's a video from Legal Eagle. It's a really nice channel and is uh, going over the Disney suit uh, from mid for mid journey. So basically Disney is suing mid journey uh, because uh, mid journey are creating images that look like Disney. Uh, so it, it, we're getting into an interesting era, my friends. Like uh, I encourage you to watch this video. It's very, very interesting to answer your question, Sarah, use Copilot create. And this is why you're not always getting the same logo. It's generative AI. It's based itself on patterns and uh, you can make McDonald's logos like that. But I thought that it will say something about copywriting. So be extremely careful, guys.